So it's 12.30 on Saturday and Joey and I are headed up to the Ovation Theater in Holly Springs to see the Valerian movie. It's a sci-fi movie. We're excited about that. Um, it's really hot out there today, so it's another day to find something good inside that's where it's nice and cool. Uh, Micah over at uh, Lightsaber Studios, uh, Light Runner, excuse me, <laughs> it's got Star Wars on the brain all the time. Light Runner Studios, a fellow uh, Tesla YouTuber, he and his son went to see it yesterday and gave it really good reviews in their video yesterday, so I thought it'd be something good for me and Joey to do this weekend. Yeah. Johnny's with his dad, and I'm not sure he would have enjoyed this movie, so to give Joey and I a chance to go and do something together. Joey and I are out of the theater. Ruby maintained under, well, 104 right up until the end, 106 degrees while we were in there, so that was good, but I turned her on to cool down more. Came out and there's this interesting station wagon. Thought it was a nice clash of old meets new here in the parking lot. That thing is long. I mean, really, really, really long. So Joey and I are just out of the movie theater from seeing uh, Valerian. It was brilliant. It was it was pretty awesome, I have to say. Now we don't want to give any spoilers away, but a it has our definite uh, recommendation. Must see movie. Yeah, great, great sci-fi. Yeah. Sci I thought it was an interesting mix of Avatar meets Star Wars, uh, Katina um, yeah. scenario, and also a little Job of the Hut and. Yeah. Maybe a little Princess Leia. A it little. was it was it was good. It was it had a real story and great CGI and the CGI was was amazing. That will stand the test of time. Yeah, for a two plus hour movie, I think it was like two hours and seventeen minutes, yeah. we were totally captivated the entire time. So uh great summer hot afternoon adventure here. So this was my first time at the um, Ovation Cinema Grill here in Holly Springs. Um, I was a good experience. So a lot of the theaters in our area have converted from the regular stadium seating to having these recliner seats, which means a lot less people fit into the theater, theater but you're really comfortable while you're in there. And then some of those that have the recliner seating also have um, service where you can eat a meal or have the standard um, theater fare. So the only thing I would have to say is that uh, I was impressed that they bring water and a straw and a cup for free. That, you know, if you, you know paying for, for bottled water, so if you want a popcorn, um, we didn't have to didn't have to pay more money for just to drink some water to wash it down with but it was a little little slow as far as them coming to you know ask you what you want and then to bring it back you know if you're used to picking up popcorn on the way in then maybe you don't want to wait 15 or 20 minutes to have somebody bring it to you also I guess where we're used to going you can get a bucket and then you can get refills and here it's just a bucket and that's that's it but still it was really nice i would definitely come again and it's uh, definitely a different um movie theater going experience what what do you think i think it was a really good theater and like you said the service for it was quite quite long but it it, it wasn't terrible it wasn't terrible at all and it was definitely a really nice quality theater and i would definitely go again yeah i mean it's only like six miles from our house so it's very convenient so Joey's been waiting for over six months for Splatoon 2 to come out on the Switch and it came uh, yesterday afternoon and I, I felt lucky that he was willing to take a break from playing with his friends online to go to the movies with me but uh, he wanted to say a little bit about what he thinks about the new Splatoon. So if, if anybody has any doubts about the game, don't worry about it. It is maybe the best Nintendo Switch game so far but it's really a carbon copy of the original Splatoon with a lot of new features. If you were going to 
get this game and you've never played Splatoon before, you will be overjoyed with the amount of content that is in the game. But if you've played the original Splatoon, you may be a little disappointed in the lower qual content, it's not quality, in it. But I am loving this game and I don't think anything is wrong with it. Um, for me, it's a 9 out of 10 game. It's really good. And I'm really enjoying it so far. And the Nintendo Switch online service is doing a really good job. Matchmaking is a lot better than the original game. And I just, I haven't found any communication error so far. So, yeah, it's a really good game. Yeah, next to the Mario Karts, all of them inclusive. I think Splatoon is Joey's, probably his next favorite game in the whole Nintendo franchise. Well, it's a brand new game. It came out on the Wii U in 2014, and it was Nintendo's, you know, really good dip into the new IPs because it, they tried something new, and they did really well on it, and I'm really happy with the sequel. And, and like I said, it's just a great game and there's really nothing wrong with it. Now I'm sure it's hurry up mom, get me home, I want to go back to playing Splatoon. Eh, I enjoy the movie a lot, but you know, I do need to get back and beat my friends. So. For review purposes. Sure. We're sitting here doing that guy thing tonight, eating pizza and watching Blade Runner. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. I'm a girl. So today here in Raleigh, it was really hot. It got to 101. And I've been noticing that the uh, line voltage from the utility company has been sagging. As a matter of fact, today it got to one of the lowest values I've ever seen. It got to 234.2 volts at 5.02 p.m. So there was quite a, a load on the power grid today here in, in uh, North Carolina.